Please watch this whole video. I may have to make a part two. Now, this is the Nile River, and it looks like a lotus flower because this is the Fayum Oasis, which looks like a leaf, and this would be the delta of the Nile, and it looks just like a lotus flower. Now, the lotus flower represents your spine because you do have a crown chakra and you have a root chakra. So there's the root, and here's the crown, which opens. Now, you guys need to understand that the root would be hell and the head would be heaven. You have a scorpion stinger tailbone, and the scorpion must rise up to become a phoenix or an eagle. Now, this is why we have the cobra and the eagle or a bird and a snake on the crown of a pharaoh at the top. See, the pharaohs knew that the snake from the scorpion tail must go up to the 33rd vertebrae to your brain, to your head. And now the snake just went from hell, your heel, to heaven, your head. I'll explain this more. See, when the snake goes up, it grows wings. And this is the energy from the bottom of your spine, from the base, up to the apex, or the tip of the pyramid, which is your head. So a serpent with wings is a dragon. Please remember this. Well, check this out, guys. Heaven is your head, earth spells heart, and hell is your heel. So you have the root chakra all the way up to the crown, and you can see the snake climbing up the, the Kabbalistic tree of life. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, yeah, so this tree of life called Yggdrasil in Norse mythology is your spine. So you have this Bifrost bridge, which means the two-way highway. The Bifrost rainbow bridge is your chakras. This is a rainbow bridge, and it gets you from hell all the way up to heaven, or you can even go to earth. That's why Thor goes to different realms. He goes to hell, he goes to heaven, he goes to earth. He's taking his spine, which is his Bifrost bridge, the two-way bridge. It goes up and down. Because the snake is actually the oil which goes down your head and must go back up. So you see, the pharaohs would be anointed with this oil. And the oil poured over the head represents the cerebral spinal fluid going down your spine. And it must return. So here's Ramses being anointed with the oil that starts from the crown and goes down. But it must come back up. And I believe that's why there's two oils. One, one's going down and one's coming up, even though it looks like they're both going down. But there's an eagle above his head. Jesus also gets anointed with oil, and there's an eagle above his head. Now, this is Jesus the lamb, and the oil is being poured from a horn. Well, the oil is the cerebral spinal fluid, and it's the golden oil, which is why Christ must return, because the Christos oil must go down and back up. Well, here's the ram inside your brain. It's called the anterior horn. It's your ventricle system. There's also this fornix, which is the phoenix when the snake...